So we've been uh -huh. talking about what has been coming based off your prophetic word and on grace and glory for almost two years now. Mm -hmm. And that everything that was the Lord told you that the market is going to uh, come down, uh, yeah. all this stuff it is happening as we speak. I was watching the news while I was in a meeting this morning and JP Morgan Chase came out today, the head of JP, JP Morgan said, a hurricane is in the works, meaning for the, for the economy. Uh, we're seeing the, the, the housing bubble start to deflate. Uh, we said this could potentially be a 2008 type crash again. I believe it will be. However, I believe it's going to be very short lived. It's gonna go boom and up based on what I'm being told, but also based on what you're hearing, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and other prophets are hearing that it'll be, it'll be a temporary uh, crash. Is yeah. that what the Lord said to you? Well, you know, in order for when the Lord had talked about a tipping point for me and I said, what happens when something tips? It crashes for a moment uh -huh. and it makes a mess and you got to clean up the mess and then everything comes back to center. Everything then comes back and is cleaned up and built up. And so that's basically and when something tips, it's very fast. The crash is very fast when yep. it happens. And then normally, what do you do? You scramble immediately to clean it up. You don't let it sit there. Right. So giving that, you know, a uh, picture to everybody is, is kind of what you're going to see. Yeah. It's going to get bumpy. Be warned. It'll get bumpy. It'll get strange. It's going to get, you know what I mean? Real, just um, uh, like a roller coaster for a moment. Um, I'd be very careful in the stock market. Uh, very careful. The only stock I own is Zion Oil and Gas. Me there, too. Might, there might be a huge breakthrough on Zion Oil and Gas. I'm not going to come out and say that yet. Um, but. Intel's leading to something big could be around that. Um, yes. Supplies, having 30, 60, 90 days. And, and then on Friday, I had an attorney, a doctor, and a general on his glory, and they were talking about having cash available, having enough cash to get you through maybe three weeks, four weeks, because I'm telling you, if it hits and the banks freak out like they did in 2008, you can't get, you can't get money out of the bank and you can't get money out of an ATM machine. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's always good to be prepared. We have to use wisdom. God gave us a brain. He wants us to ask him for wisdom and use it. Noah was told to prepare yep. because of the impending flood. The Lord made Noah prepare. He made him prepare everything that was needed for it ahead of time. So even though Noah felt and the animals in the ark felt, I mean, the ark moving about, you know what I mean? They could feel the tossing and they could feel they were, they were safe. They were protected. Mm -hmm. So we have to do the same thing. Think about the faith of Noah. Noah had faith. I mean, to build something or for an event that never took ever took place in the history of the world. It never rained. Yeah, he before. had never seen rain. Nope, he had never <laughs> seen rain. He didn't know what it was. He just said the Lord said it was coming, and this is what you're going to build to protect yourselves and the animals. Mm -hmm. 